Hi, this is Raven. I got another request from subscriber Firebox415. Um, he's setting up areas that CSAT and NATO will have to try and capture. And he's asked me how to switch a flag and an ammunition box in that seized area to match the capture inside. So what I've done is I've put a trigger on this helipad just to use it as the capturing area for demo purposes but obviously you'd probably want it over a, a military compound or even a town or something like that but just for purposes of demonstration um, I've got it on there and I've got Zeus so I'm just gonna if you can see up in the top right corner it says area one abandoned so this is area one and obviously you can have area one two three whatever so we'll just go to men and put down a survivor. I'm just going to take control. So it says area one abandoned, and you can see it's got a green flag, and that box there is just an empty box. So when um, NATO enter the area and there's no CSAT there, they can capture it. So go in. And it says in the top right, NATO seized area one. And as you can see, the flag has changed now from green to blue for, uh, for NATO. And the ammo box is the NATO supply ammo box. Now, if we leave him here, and I'm just going to put down a, a CSAT guy, uh, just a rifleman, stick him there so he can't see the other guy, take control of him. So top right it says NATO has seized area one. So as I come in here, now that two foot the two forces are in the area. The green flag and the empty box has changed and it now says in the top right, conflict in area one. So if I take him out. Okay mate. Uh, CSAT has seized area one. And as you can see the flag is now red. And this box is now a CSAT supply ammunition box okay so I'll just show you how I did it so the trigger will obviously cover the area you want to capture so if that's a town or whatever um, but you will have the flag and the supply box in your capture area so what I've done here as you can probably just about tell that there's three flags all on top of each other as are, there are three uh, supply boxes on top of each other. So if we just zoom in so we can see all three. So we've got green flag, red flag and blue flag. So just open the green flag up. Now I've just called it green flag. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, that, this is going to be um, referenced in the SQF file so you need to call it something. Red flag, again red flag, just simple. Um, now the only difference is the red flag and the blue flag to begin with have this little sort of short script which just basically says hide the red flag to begin with. Um, and the blue one is exactly the same, hide the blue flag and it's blue flag. And the same with the supply boxes. So. I've called the empty one the green box just to sort of keep it in reference to the green flag. So green box, blue box, blue box hidden as well. I'll put this um, in the comments so you can just copy and paste it. Zoom in, try and get the red box. There it is. Red box, just red box uh, and red box hidden. Um, the 
SQF file, I'll put a link to my Dropbox and I'll just put the SQF, uh, SQF file in there and you can just literally copy it. Um, and then you can open it up in Notepad++. Um, and it's very, very simple. Uh, it just basically says um, when there's no one in the area, have an empty box and a green flag. Um, when both forces are in the area, have an empty box and a green flag, so they not one of them's got an advantage. When NATO is in the area and not CSAT, then a blue flag and the NATO supply box. When CSAT's in there, red flag and CSAT box. Um, if I open up the trigger, uh, you need to set the trigger activation to anybody and activation type present condition this which is just how it uh, triggers sort of default to and on activation just type this little string in here and I'll put that in the comments as well so you, you just literally have to copy and paste and this obviously references the SQF file so the F SQF file is called area one but obviously you might have several areas so you just want to add that to the SQF Okay, um, I think that's it. Yeah, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, and obviously it just repeats, so if CSAT have seized it, then um, NATO can come back in and take it over again, and then CSAT can come and take it over again. But if CSAT have it and they leave the area, it will remain a red CSAT flag until NATO come back so potentially you could just take overload of areas and walk away and go and capture the next one as long as someone from NATO is not sneaking behind you and sort of capturing it again but I'll leave it up to you. Alright, hope it was helpful. Take it easy. Bye.